What if I tell you a scientifically proven revision method which will help you to revise each and every single chapter within a very less amount of time? And what if I tell you this method has basically followed by lot of students of mine who have previously cracked the need? Let me tell you, my dear friends, lot of students in their mind, they have this particular confusion, sir. Please tell me the effective, most effective revision method or we say killer revision method which will help me to revise each and every single thing because I am getting problem in revising each and every single concept be it physics, be it chemistry or biology. So this video is for you. Make sure you hit the like button and you share it with all your friends. Okay. A lot of students say, sir, how much time I am supposed to give to chemistry? How much time I am supposed to give to physics and biology in revising? Okay. And at what time I am supposed to revise? Shall I revise daily or shall I revise at the weekends or shall I revise once I am done with the chapter? Each and every single question will be answered in this particular video. Make sure you watch this video till the end. Now, my dear friends, listen to me very carefully. When it comes to the revision strategy, the most effective or the killer revision strategy, we say there are three types of revisions. We say the first one is daily revision. Then you have got the chapter wise revision and then you have got the comprehensive revision. What is daily revision? Daily revision means, let's suppose you are sitting inside a batch, okay, you studied something over there, you learned over there with your teacher. Afterwards, once you end the class, afterwards you guys are supposed to uh, revise each and every single thing, whatever the teacher has taught you. Sir, is it important? Are we supposed to do this? 110%, yes, this is very much mandatory, extremely mandatory. You guys know what? At the end moment, do you go? Do you guys know it is only the revisions which will help you to enter the medical college? I have seen in my entire career a lot of students who were working, who were studying for continuous two years, three years, but at the end moment they couldn't do the revisions properly and they failed in the neat examination. So, my dear friends, this revision, daily revisions are extremely important. You guys have to revise each and every single thing because then only you would be able to do the chapter wise revisions and the comprehensive revisions in a very less amount of time. Okay. What you are supposed to do every single day, whatever you have studied in, in the class, you guys are supposed to remember, revise that after the class. Okay. How much time it will take you? Just 10 to 15 minutes it's going to take you, but it is the most effective way, most uh, mandatory method that you guys are supposed to follow. Then once you are done with the chapter, afterwise you will have to go with the chapter wise revision. Okay. And my dear friend, sir, how we are supposed to do this, this and comprehensive revision. Comprehensive revision is once you are done with five, six chapters like part one of physics of class 12. So do the comprehensive revision of this, do the revision of all of these five to six chapters. Then part two physics of class 12th, part one physics of class 11th, part two uh, physics of class 11th. Okay. Now, my dear friends, next we have got, next we have got, we say, we say how you are supposed to remember. There are three methods that you have to follow daily, chapter wise and comprehensive. Then how you are supposed to revise when it comes to the revision, how much time you are supposed to give. We say when it comes to the theory, you have to consume 40% of your time. Like when you have got one hour, 40% of your time you have to consume in covering the concepts in reading the NCRT in like if it is chemistry or biology. Okay. In reading the theory, basically covering all of those formulas, concepts you have to do in 40% of that time. And when it comes to the remaining 60%, in your remaining 60%, you guys are supposed to do the question practice. You have to basically solve more and more questions because when it comes to the question practice, it is extremely mandatory and that's why I have put up this over here. Next, we have got over here, when it comes to my dear friends, chapter wise, revision, okay, first revision. And we say chapter wise or we say we, uh, comprehensive revision, okay. So it has to be target based. Okay. Leave the daily revisions aside. I have told you what to do in the daily revisions. Now, when it comes to the chapter wise and target comprehensive revisions, it has to be target based. Sir, what does that means? If you keep the target in the starting itself that I have to finish this much, I have to cover the entire chapter over here. Okay. Make a to do list. Like these are the things I'll have to revise in this particular chapter noted down. And these are the types of problems I have to uh, solve in this particular uh, chapter. So that is very much mandatory if you couldn't achieve the target and if you do not make the target, make sure 
uh, and, and I'm giving you 100% assurity that you will not, you will not get the proper results. So you'll only be able to get the proper results if you, if you basically go for the target based revision, like I have to finish this much. And then if you couldn't finish this much, then you can basically study for the, in the next, next revision, you can cover that much. In the next day, you can cover that much, which you have left in the previous one. Okay. So this you guys are supposed to do in both that is chapter wise, as well as in this. Now, my dear friends, next we have got, when it comes to the chapter wise revision, what you are supposed to do? We say the first thing you have to keep in your mind, that is the revision notes. Sir, what are these notes? We have the class notes, we have the revision notes. Class notes are which you make while while learning with the teacher in the batch, okay? And then afterwards, we say, we say, we say, in the revision notes, you have to basically make one unit of physics. You have to basically make, we say, one unit of bio. You have to basically, we have, let's suppose you are, you are covering one unit of chemistry over here, okay? You have to make the revision notes of this chapter, of this chapter, of this chapter, leaving everything aside. And what you are supposed to put up in those revision notes, we say the formulas, we say the mind maps, okay? So all of those things which you can revise in a fraction of seconds, you have to put up in those revision notes, okay? And then when it comes to the comprehensive and full syllabus revision over here, my dear friends, we say theory must be done in this one also, okay? And, and, and apart from that, NCRT reading you guys are supposed to do over here as well as basically revision notes which you have already made. You can do this comprehensive revision with those revision notes only, okay? This is only possible if you have made the revision notes. And then we say, my dear friends, questions. We say PYQs you guys are supposed to do in this one also. Question banks and NCRT questions very much mandatory in this particular case also. And next we have got over here that is physics. Next we have got over here that is physics. We say in case of physics you have got, you have, what you are supposed to do is we say unit wise tests are mandatory. While you are doing these revisions, along with that you will have to go with the unit wise test. Okay, like you, you. How do you get to know that you have revised efficiently? When you are done with the revision, afterwards you will have to give the test for that particular chapter. You will have to basically go with the chapter wise PYQs. You have to follow these also. And then do not leave any of the NCRT questions out there when it comes to the chap when it comes to the physics. And chemistry, we say in inorganic, you will have to read NCRT thoroughly. You will have to practice more and more questions when it comes to the inorganic chemistry. And then my dear friends, in organic, we say NCRT is the gold mine. Every reaction is impossible, uh, sorry, <laughs> important. And we say in text questions plus, uh, we say uh, whatever the questions which are at the end of the chapter, those are important. We say in case of the inorganic, organic chemistry, make sure you cover all of these in your revisions. And then we say in physical chemistry, you have got we have, we say theory once from NCRT in text and we say end chapter questions plus PYQs you guys are supposed to do in this one also. And when it comes to the biology, we say you'll have to follow the NCRT blindly over here and make sure, make sure you take some of the important points from the re while reading the NCRT and put up in your revision notes and, and, and we say make sure you put up, you put up all of the mind maps and paste it in your revision notes. Very, very important when it comes to the biology. Very, very important when it comes to the biology. As soon as possible, okay? Because, because when it comes to this Phoenix Pro batch, we say, we say each and every single concept will be covered over here. And, and when it comes to the revisions that I have shown you over here, we will be helping you in revising the way I told you in this particular video. And this is the batch in which you can enroll and it is live now. We have recently launched it, okay? Only two, three days back, okay? So you can join it and the price is right now only 5,999 rupees. Test series, we say study material, proper personal mentorship, everything is included in this batch. I would want you guys to basically join it. The link is in the description below. And next, my dear friends, we say Unacademy Pro. What is this Unacademy Pro we have? My dear friends, when it comes to the Unacademy Pro, lot of students who basically are learning online, but they want to give the test series offline, that is only possible with the help of the Unacademy Pro. They want to basically have the live mentorship sessions, that is only possible with the help of Unacademy Pro. They want to basically revise the syllabus 
in the offline centers that is possible with the help of an academy pro they want to solve their doubts in the offline center that is only possible with the help of an academy pro you can clearly see over here the difference between plus iconic and pro and accordingly you choose your subscription so thank you so much that's all for today make sure you like this particular video thank you so much take care and bye bye